Hello guys, it's me Carlos Santos, aka Carlos957. And I have some sad news from the Henrik Motorsports camp. And some of you guys might have heard it 24 hours ago that Henrik Motorsports got fined big time. A hundred thousand dollars. L2 penalty. And they basically lost 10 hours of wind tunnel testing that they could have done during the season and off season. You know, like... This couldn't be happening to a big team like this, you know, like, they are really pushing hard to bring Kyle Larson to the 48 car, and I think they're going to be behind the eight ball next season, because Chase Elliott, he's been trying to win races for them, he got a few, like, for example, Daytona, the All-Star Race, and Charlotte, you know. And then they got Alex Bowman, who won Fontana. William Byron won the Daytona night race. You know, the race to get into the playoffs, you know. He did a nice job, too. So. But for them, to, for Hendrick Driver, or for Rick Hendrick to pick a fourth driver to be in the Hendrick Motorsports stable, this doesn't look good for the offseason, you know, and... Well, unless they can bring all 500 employees and tell them, look, I know we're behind, way behind 2021, but you guys have to play by the rules, you know, like, we can't, like, purchase all these, uh, hog eye systems and, like, actually pinpoint where we're gonna get penalized and such forth, and... Yeah, I think the Hawkeye system plays a big role into the wind tunnel testing because, yeah, they're putting too much effort into this Chevy Camaro that was introduced in 2018 and then didn't keep an eye on how many hours you were, you know, testing it and testing it and so forth. And it's all right to be behind as far as research and development is concerned, you know, like the body, the engine, and the chassis. Those are the three major, you know, components that build a solid nucleus into the race car, you know. And I'm not mentioning Kyle Larson in the topic because, you know, I think he's going straight to sprint cars and you know how slowly I'm really talking about my man Carl Larson, you know. And the reason why, I mean, I followed him because I thought he was going to be a rising superstar, you know. And he's been getting rumors from Stuart Haas Racing, Hendrick, you name him, these two powerhouse teams. And now... He looks like Rick Hendrick could say, oh, I wouldn't want to drive a race car that doesn't have the same updated information like the super teams like Joe Gibbs and Stuart Haas, you name them, even Penske. Those three teams are on a roll right now, and Rick Hendrick can't afford to get heavy fines like this ever again, you know. And if they get strike two, strike three, they may be bankrupt and out of the sport, you know, and that's the sad part, you know. Just preach for what you believe in. That's what I'm trying to bring here. And it's not been easy for them this season. And I mean, Jamie Johnson missing the chase for the second straight season isn't helping into their off-season projects, you know. And uh, it's going to be a rough holiday season for them, too. Because, as I say, stay positive, but what's going to be 2022, the next-gen car? Yeah, some unknowns, and... Man. 
I've heard William Byers tested the next gen car, but I don't want to even go there because I've heard he uh, wrecked the car. Yeah. So, there, that was my five minute preaching of how Henrik Motorsports got a 10000 or a $100,000 fine and they got to pay the consequences, I'm telling you. L2 penalties are not tolerated for NASCAR. <laughs> They're not tolerated for NASCAR officials to hand down to top teams like Hendrick. And Rick, Hen Rick Hendrick's been the top stable of this sport. He's supposed to be our role models for the youth movement. And it's not helping any for them. And plus, they... Uh, like lease engines to small underfunded teams like JTG Darty and you know I can't remember another team but maybe JTG Darty oh oh Chip Canassi Chip Canassi too so I think that's all I have to say so I'm AK Happy Girl 957 if you have any questions about the Rick Hendrick Losing their wind tunnel time for 2021 and possibly into 2022. Just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Happy Carl 957 on YouTube, and possibly I might upload this to Facebook. So don't hesitate to contact me. So I'll be signing out and peace out.